Hi, my name is uh, Dr. Susan Ball. I'm an assistant professor of medicine at the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I am one of the myeloma clinical investigators and uh, we were delighted to participate in the phase one portion of the uh, BMS 986393. This is a GPRC5D directed CAR T cells for patients with uh, relapsed refractory multiple myeloma. GPRC5D is an orphan receptor that's expressed on multiple myeloma plasma cells and it has very limited expression in normal tissues, so it's a rational target for therapeutics. We already know from approval and study of other GPRC5D directed agents that uh, GPRC5D is a promising therapeutic target for myeloma. So exploring this in the context of a CAR T cell uh, made a lot of sense since this is a one-time treatment and um, that's, that's why it makes sense to you know, sort of study this in the relapse myeloma setting. So uh, the study's been ongoing for about two and a half years so far. At the time of the most recent data cut of September 11, 2023, so far 84 patients have been treated. Uh, these are patients with pretty heavily treated myeloma uh, with a median of four prior lines of therapy. They've um, the population was consistent with the late-line myeloma population. There was a lot of high-risk disease, 41% uh, uh, by traditional high-risk characteristics. There was about 44 patients with 44% of the subjects had extramedullary disease. And uh, these are patients who had triple class refractory disease. And in fact, 20% were even BCMA refractory. Uh, so that, that was sort of the baseline characteristics of pretty heavily treated population. What we have seen is that, you know, in terms of the cytokine release syndrome, uh, we see that about 76% of the patients had any grade cytokine release syndrome. These were mostly dose dependent, occurring at a median of three days uh, and lasting for about four days. Uh, we saw high grade CRS, which was grade three or higher in about 3.6% of the subjects. At the recommended phase two dose, which was declared uh, at this presentation of 150 million CAR T cells, we see that the safety profile is, um, is, is very good in terms of uh, no patients having grade three or higher CRS and 89% of them having a grade one to two event. We saw uh, a low incidence of ICANS, mostly lower grade with only 2% of patients having high grade ICANS. We did see some non eye cancer toxicity, um, including dysarthria, ataxia, and dizziness, which affected anywhere uh, a total of about 11% of the subjects across the study, uh, with about 3.6% of those being higher grade. Uh, so far, they seem to be dose dependent, and with limited follow-up, they appear to be stable to somewhat improved. Uh, we evaluated sort of the uh, on target off tumor toxicities, um, particularly with the GPRC5D receptor being expressed on hard keratinized tissues. We were on the lookout for you know, oral cavity, skin and nail type toxicities and luckily those were transient, low grade uh, and occurred infrequently with incidence of uh, under 25% for the whole cohort. Uh, and uh, most of these, 86% of these improved without any intervention. So they were much less than what we've seen with the T-cell engagers. So, you know, in the efficacy evaluable population of about 73% of the 73 subjects, we see an overall response rate that's very high. For the entire study, it was 88%. At the recommended phase two dose, it was 91%. With uh, at least half of those patients having a uh, complete remission. So at the RP2D, the complete remission rate was 48%. Uh, so those are very impressive data in a very late line, heavily treated population. So we're very excited by these results and this efficacy findings, uh, including uh, the limited sort of on target off tumor toxicities we've seen. So we're excited about how this sort of develops in this landscape of relapse myeloma. Uh, so far we have a phase two study, which is looking at this CAR-T and quadruple class refractory subjects, as well as yet another phase one study in combination with other agents that are active in myeloma that are ongoing and soon to open.